All right, so let's say we found the regression equation for weight in terms of height to be weight equals 105 plus 1.2 times the height. Here, the height is measured in inches and our weight is measured in pounds. So um, something to really note um, is that whenever we say in terms of, uh, this, the thing that comes after it is usually our x value. So that means our weight was our y value. So that's why if we look here at our regression equation, my height is my x and my weight is my y or my y hat, okay? So the first thing that we wanna do is something that's kind of confusing a lot of you, and that's we'll interpret the slope and the y-intercept. So if you remember, our slope, uh, in, or at least in this case, is going to be equal to the thing that's right next to the x value, which is a 1.2. All right, so if we remember what we said this, this says that for every one unit, so for every, uh, one unit increase or one inch increase in X. So in this case, it's my in my height. So in my height, my weight increases. Why increases? Because this is positive by 1.2 pounds. Okay, so as I get one, um, if I increase my height by one more unit or one more inch, so if I get a little taller, my weight is going to now increase by 1.2 pounds. So I'm going to gain a pound, uh, roughly. Okay, that's basically what it says. So that's what my slope is. Now my y-intercept is a little different because my y-intercept, what it's saying is uh, where exactly it crosses the x-axis. So when x is zero, so this is, you're talking about x being zero, what is going on with my y-axis? So I have 105, okay? And that's 105. So when x is zero, and the x in this case is my height, so when my height is zero um, inches, my weight is 105 pounds, which makes absolutely no sense, okay? So this is just, just dumb, but I mean, usually you, uh, the reason why is that you usually want to talk about your data within a certain amount of range. We don't have people that have, that don't, you probably are not alive, right? So um, this is basically um, not a really good, the way it's just it's not probably really useful, but uh, to interpret, but that's basically the interpretation of the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, so now let's do part B. So part B says, um, if my r squared, okay, so r squared, remember that this is coefficient of determination, okay, coefficient of determination, which tells me how much variation um, I have. Um, uh, sorry, I can't multitask. <laughs> okay, so um, it just tells me how much variation there is, how good my model is. 93% is pretty good. Okay, so if my R squared is 93%, find the correlation coefficient. So if you remember, in order for me to find the correlation coefficient given my R squared, okay, so I know R squared is equal to 93%. I think, let me change that to a decimal, 0 0.93. What I want to do is I want to find the value of R. So I'm going to take the square root to both sides. So I'm going to apply a square root to both sides. And don't forget that once you apply a square root, you also have to apply a plus or minus. So I'm going to get r is equal to plus or minus the square root of, point, of 0.93. So when I put that into my calculator, so the square root of 0.93, I get 0.96, okay, roughly around there. So about 0.96. Now, which one should it be? Should it be the positive one or should it be the minus one? Well, what we've got to do now is we've got to look at the slope. Our slope is positive, so that means that I'm going, it's positively increasing. It's a positive trend, so it's, it makes sense for it to be positive. So R in this case is equal to a positive 0.96. Notice that my correlation is very strong. Okay, so that means my um, there is a strong relationship between height and weight. Okay, so now here what we want to find, we want to find the residual, okay, for a person whose height is 65 inches, and I know that their true weight is 182 pounds. Okay, so um, if you remember the residual, my residual was equal to y minus y hat, which is basically the truth minus the prediction of y. Now think about what y is. Y is my weight. 
okay? So that means I'm taking the true weight minus the predicted weight. Well, I know what my true weight is. My true weight is just gonna be 182 pounds minus my predicted weight. My predicted weight is not 65 inches. That is the height. So we wanna figure out what my predicted weight is. So, so my predicted weight, let me put it over here. Predicted, okay, well, all we gotta do is just plug it into my regression equation. So here's my equation. So I'm gonna take 105 plus 1.2 times my height. My height is just 65. That's why they gave us that information. Okay, so I'm gonna take 105 plus 1.2 times 65. Okay, that's gonna give me 183. So this is my predicted, this is my Y hat. So I'm gonna plug that in here, 183. Okay, so 182 minus 183 gives me negative one. So I was very, very close in predicting it. I was just, I kind of, um, I overestimated my prediction. I overestimated by one. That's why we have a negative. That means I overestimated this thing. Okay, um, so hopefully this helps uh, with the interpretation, with the R squared and correlation, and also with the residual.